Hey guys, the PikaWoo here, bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This one is against Xenon 3120, and this is a fifth generation roulette battle. Um, Xenon did post his side of the battle on Pokemon Pit, so most of you guys probably have seen his side of the battle, and this is my side of the battle. And um, anyways, going to this roulette battle, it was a really fun battle, and um, we both lead off with walls. So um, yeah, random Pokemon leads for the win. And um, I go for the Toxic here, hoping to get that um, Umbreon Poison, so it would have to waste a turn uh, to go for the Heal Bell, if it does have the Heal Bell. Anyways, I go into my um, Venomoth in case he does want to go for the Toxic one more time, predicting the switch again. And um, I go for the Butterfly Dance on the switch, which is really nice, and Xenon's going to make a really risky play and go into a uh, Executor to take the Sleep Powder because it does have the Lumberry. And um, now he predicts me to go for the Bug Buzz, but I actually go for the Sleep Powder here. And that's really great because I get that um, that uh, Fire Pokemon to sleep, and it is a huge threat to my team. And now as he switches into this um, this uh, Bug Rock Pokemon, I will go for the Baton Pass, and I uh, Baton Pass to my Blastoise. And um, my team really isn't that balanced, and I don't have many uh, special attackers. Most of my Pokemon are physical, so... Um, Really, the only thing that could hit this uh, Pokemon hard is uh, my Blastoise with the Stab Surf, which is super effective. And um, I go for the Roar here, predicting his switch back into Umbreon because I don't want to face this Umbreon since it can wall me completely. And uh, unfortunately for me, it drags um, this Manetric in, which I don't know what kind of Manetric it is. It could be Scarfed, it could be Specs, it could be Life Orbed. So um, he goes back into his Bestet, which means he probably isn't... Um, Scarfed, probably um, Specs, as you'll see later on. He does go for the Vault Change. And um, I go into my Arbok here because I was predicting his uh, Umbreon switch in again. And I know I can set up all over this uh, this Umbreon. And I go for the Coil, and that's my first Coil. That's going to give me an Attack and Defense boost. And that's going to be amazing because I am going to go for the Gunk Shot here. And I should have predicted the, um, the switch in to this Pokemon because it does resist my... Uh, my stab poison move, but um, I really wasn't playing too competitive in this battle since um, it is a roulette battle after all, and that's generally just for um, the fun of it. Anyways, I go for the second coil here just to set up some more because I know he's going to either go for the entry hazards or go for the earthquake, and earthquake is not stab, so I know I can take it because I have plus two defense. And I go for the rock slide here, and surprisingly, my opponent's Pokemon does take that pretty well. And luckily for me, I do get the flinch, so um, I won't be able to. He won't be able to attack me before he dies. Now he goes back into this Ganon, and I'm really predicting him to go for the Earthquake, um, thinking that he doesn't want to take any recoil damage from um, from the Flutter Blitz. But he does go for the Flutter Blitz anyways, and that's going to be a key misplay because I I really should have just killed that um, Ganon early in the game with a Rock Slide or Gunk Shot from my Arbok with plus 2 attack. Anyways, I go into my Blastoise knowing that he's probably Scarfed, and I predict his switch out. Um, so I go into my Ice Cream Pokemon, and he goes into this uh, Water Pokemon, and that is a really heavy hitter and can pretty much wreck through my team because the only Pokemon that does resist his Water move is my Blastoise, which is already poisoned and crippled, so... Um, yeah, this, uh, this Piranha Pokemon will be a huge threat to my team. And I go into my Arbok just to get the Intimidate. And I'm really hoping I can live this Aqua Jet and go for a Gunk Shot before I die. But he um, actually does KO me with that Aqua Jet, which is unfortunate because my Arbok could be used later on as um, an intim for Intimidate against his, uh, his Ganon. But anyways... Um, back um, into this battle, I go for the glare, and he predicts that, and goes into his Executor, which does have the Lumberry and Harvest ability, which gives him unlimited Lumberries, which is a really good um, ability to have on um, Executor, because Executor does have pretty decent typing and some natural bulk in the defensive side. I go for the, um, right there I went for the Dragon Claw, and then I went for the uh, Sucker Punch, predicting him to attack me once more. But he actually goes for the rest, and that really sucks because um, I just revealed to him that I do have Sucker Punch, and um, that's going to be a problem. Now, right here, I went for the Glare, predicting him to go for a non-attacking move, 
thinking that he does know I have the Sucker Punch, which is super effective. And, um, yeah, now, um, I switch out here, uh, going to my Venomoth because I am really annoyed that he's pretty much predicting me. And, um, he goes for the Seed Bomb there. And I four times resist that, so that's not going to do much. And, um, really, right here, I should have went for either the Sleep Powder or the Butterfly Dance. But for some really stupid reason, I do go for the Bug Buzz. I was probably just really angry at that Executor, so I really wanted to kill that Executor really badly. So that was a really um, bad play on my part because I don't really have any safe switch in against this Ganon. And um, I'm just going to leave my Venomoth here as Death Fodder. And that's really unfortunate because um, I could have used it later as another uh, to Baton Pass, another... Uh, Butterfly dance, hopefully. But um, I go into my Ganon, or I go into my Blastoise because he's locked into the Fire type move, and I go for the spin because um, I don't want rocks to hurt my Ice Cream Pokemon because that will do a quarter um, damage every time I switch in my um, my Ice Cream dude. So um, now I go for the Toxic here, and I miss again. And the reason why I go for the Toxic against this Umbreon is because I really want him to waste a move and go for the heal bell as I can go safely into another Pokemon. But I missed twice, which is kind of unfortunate, but in the long run, it doesn't really matter because um, Umbreon can uh, withstand my team, and it pretty much walls my whole team, which really sucked in this battle. But um, anyways, I go into my Ice Cream Pokemon, predicting the switch again, but he goes into this uh, the Piranha guy again, which really sucks, and that's going to force me to switch. And um, I switch back into my Blastoise, knowing that I can take the water move. And he's just going to finish me off with a frustration, and that's going to suck. Because um, my only real counter to this Piranha Pokemon was my Blastoise, and now it's dead. So now I have to go into my um, my uh, my Dragon Dude, go for the Dragon Claw just to finish off this Piranha Dude. As he goes for the um, frustration, which is going to do quite a lot to my Dragon Pokemon. Even though my Dragon Pokemon does have max HP and some does have some natural bulk. Now, um, he goes into... My opponent goes into this uh, Umbreon. is just going to KO me with a Pursuit. And I won't be able to get my Super Power off. It would have been nice if I did, though. And I go into my uh, Ice Cream Dude knowing that I can set up on that um, Umbreon since I do have the Substitute. And now Manetric's just going to go for the Vault Change. And um, he's going to break my sub and that's not too bad because I am gonna be able to set up a uh, an agility or body purge which is pretty much the same thing as an agility and um, right here I go for the sub here once more thinking that I actually have the Patai Berry but rather I only have the um, the life orb which is really weird I really thought I did uh, equip my Patai Berry on this Pokemon and that wasn't really smart of me to have Life Orb because Life Orb and Substitute isn't really a good combination unless you do have a reliable recovery such as Recover or um, Roost. And um, that's going to be bad because Patai Berry would have been a better choice on this Pokemon. And now his, he's just going to go into his Umbreon and finish me off of the Pursuit. And I know I can't do anything to this Umbreon because it is extremely bulky. So good game Xenon. Hope you can rematch. Um, and battle again sometime. Peace out, guys.